Welcome back. Uh, we went ahead and did all the setup for the UBB. We're still doing a, a lab setup. It, this is not the, the outdoor setup that we're going to be in, but I'm, I'm just testing a few things before I deploy it. And uh, the two things I want to uh, check today is I want to see, well, simple, should be able to just connect a laptop to it. But the big one for me is if I could connect an actual Unify switch, a smart switch to it versus just a dumb switch to uh, just connect other devices, another network or office space that's in a separate building. So uh, that's, that's big for me because uh, <clears throat> in, pri in prior versions, uh, the non-managed ones uh, by the Unify didn't, uh, I, I ha always had a hard time connecting an actual Unify switch uh, right at the you know connection point uh, to where I could manage it and, and just have my connections, my VLANs and so forth. So we're gonna go ahead and test that. So I'm in the network settings now for this uh, specific uh, computer. It's, a, it's an Apple. And now I'm gonna go ahead and connect. Uh, basically, I wanna see what the ethernet response can be. I should be able to basically see uh, connection. And, and second of all, I should see uh, dynamic IP address being provided. So we're ready for that. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this cable to the side. And here we go. All right, so cable is connected. Dun, 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 dun. And there it goes. It says that I am connected, so I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can see that as well. Ethernet, uh, I was on Wi-Fi, but now Ethernet is connected, and I'm getting a network IP off of that VLAN, which is the main VLAN. So uh, that works just fine. I was not expecting any issues with that. Just kind of wanted to show you. I'm connecting, and, and I'm even uh, kind of in the way of, of the two uh, devices, <clears throat> but I have a connection. Uh, in fact, let's do a quick speed test, see what that, what that does for us. So I'm gonna go speed test. And let's run this one first. Not too bad. It's giving me pretty much a connection as if, I thought, as if it was uh, connected straight up to the LAN. And uh, <clears throat> of course, I'm here almost in front of each other. We're gonna test that, of course, when we do the actual deployment, but this is already a very good thing. It's giving us really good results, good speed. That's <clears throat> what I expect uh, when I'm connected to the LAN directly. So that, that so far is a good. So now we have the Unify switch uh, right out of the box. So this one is not even configured with our network. I didn't want to have anything pre-configured because I want to see it go through the full setup uh, being on the other side of the connection. So let's do this. I'm going to connect power to the wall. There it goes. And we're going to unwrap this guy. This is the Ubiquiti USW. Uh, uh, 860 watt. So this is, has four ports of PoE as well. There we go. We just plugged in power to it. Uh, let's see, make sure that, yep, there it goes. It's starting to power up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect that same cable that I connected to the laptop initially. And we're gonna see what we see on our network. So right now we have the switch and we're gonna get a little closer one more time and see what that does. Uh, all right, so. All right, so at this point, I would assume the Unify switch should see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, there it is, it's blinking. It's trying to talk to the network. And uh, we're gonna go take a look at our uh, Unify uh, controller and see what if it tell, it's telling us that these devices are available on the network. And next thing we'll do, we'll adopt it, and we'll try to VLAN it, and we'll test some speeds connecting the laptop again, because that's where I was, I believe I was able to connect it, but the speed was just like not good at all. I, it, it didn't make any sense to me. It was just, uh, again, I had to end up using a regular switch, uh, a, a, a dumb switch. So there it is, it's already, uh, uh, the link is up. Uh, 
shows me it's not adopted by that white light on the left side. Uh, so I'm gonna go take a look at our controller. Here we are, and I see the switch. It's in the process of, uh, oh, didn't, I don't think it did anything just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and, it's asking me to do, so uh, to, to perform an update. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to upgrade it. We'll wait on that. Uh, but it does show me uh, there's a device on the the device that's on the other end of that connection, which is a good start. Uh, I guess the biggest one would be when I plug in the laptop to the switch. I should see a small drop on on speed because now we're we're we have another hop in between. Uh, but uh, I, I hope it's not as drastic as uh, what I was seeing. It was just a completely unstable connection. That might have been also now that when it was at, at the distance that it was and so on. And aside from that, um, I think that it could not even connect at 1G. But this one, uh, it's a faster connection. Uh, it's supposedly rated to 1.7, but we're talking about uh, an ethernet uh, gigabit connection so it's never going to use that up but it at least should have or does have the specs that in theory should allow it to work so we'll see in a second all right so here we go we have our connections done good thing is now i see a gigabit connection for both the uplink port and the switch port which is exactly what we are expecting to have, which I never got before. This is a good thing. Uh, we'll see, of course, when we do the actual connection building to building, how that's gonna look like, if, if it's gonna retain the proper speed. And uh, laptop re did obtain, and uh, actually I can disable it. No, that, that's okay, I mean, it, it was not connected, so. Uh, uh, it did obtain its IP. Now we're gonna run a test one more time. Oh my gosh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It still runs at the same speed somewhat. It's actually faster on this test, uh, but it's just, you know, variations from, from our network, I guess, internally. But other than that, this is looking good. Uh, so all the testing, so far is very, very promising because uh, again, uh, having a switch, I need to have a smart switch on the other end too. So I can see what the actual status of the network is. And this is a very good thing before I didn't have that option. So uh, when we do the actual install, uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, so far, so good. And just uh, to go back on the switch, that's the switch that we uh, brought in. It's connected and this is the actual switch. It shows us the connections and so forth. So uh, UBB, I like you so far. It's, uh, it's a good device. Of course, when we do the actual test of connecting it building to building is when we'll know. I mean, I know it's going to be a longer distance and so on. So. We won't see probably the same uh, speeds and so on, but already looks very promising. All right, so thanks again for joining us. Um, this was a good, successful test. We're gonna be connecting from that building across to another, uh, to what we call, a, it's, it's like a hangar. It's, it's a, a warehouse storage area that we have. But um, that's where we're going to do the test. So that's going to be our next video when we do it. Uh, we're, we're going to, it's going to take us about a week before we do that. But thanks again for tuning in. Uh, this was uh, just basically a successful test of both a laptop and a, uh, the big one for me. The laptop would have been like, I mean, a given. I mean, if you don't do that, well, that, that's pretty bad. But from prior experiences with other uh, Ubiquiti devices that I, that I had used, uh, this one in this case, which is now in the Unify uh, environment as well, uh, it connects and it does work uh, perfect with the switch, with the smart Unify smart switch. So that's a big thing for me because I'm going to be able to have eyes at, at the other location as well. 
uh, through the Unify controller, which is really what I love about Unify. It, it just gives me a lot of uh, control. I know it's it's got, I mean, it's not perfect, but it actually, for my case, uh, my use case in this specific environment, it's the perfect solution for us. So uh, thanks, thanks again for joining and we'll see you next time.